Good morning, Quadcopter 101. What I got for you today is another neat review. Today we got the Ishin Wizard X. <laughs> it's a breezy day today. <laughs> Blew away my mat. But anyways, we got the Ishin Wizard X220. Now, what is the X220? Well, this is another racer from Ishin. This is a relatively low cost one, actually. I believe it's in the $150, $160 range. But, um, Actually, it is a high, very high performance, is what I'm hearing, uh, racer. We'll go over the parts of it. Let's go over each of the uh, features on this particular quadcopter. First off, let's start with the motors. Uh, I believe they're 2300, uh, MN2204, 2300 uh, kV motors, which means 2300 uh, RPM per volt motors. Uh, should be pretty powerful. And on top of that, we have 20 amp. Um, ESCs, electronic speed controllers come with this. We have a 700 TVL uh, FPV camera. Uh, additionally, if we look at the frame of this quadcopter, it's a X type of frame, a little bit not or true X. It's kind of shorter in this direction than it is in this direction. Uh, Overall, it's carbon fiber. The entire body is carbon fiber with the exception of uh, these uh, metal uh, attachment points on each part of the body. Uh, internally, we have, for the flight control board, a, I'm gonna stop for a second. Here's a motorcycle coming by. In turn of the quadcopter, we have a NACE 32 six off six degree of freedom flight control board what does that mean well it means it's a basic flight control board with uh without um additional features such as altitude hold and compass uh so it's you know it's basic it's more, not for osd type uh setup just basic uh fpv flying um Additionally, the receiver on the quadcopter is buried inside right about here. It's just strapped inside there. And with that in mind, the receiver antennas are just flopped in the back here. They're not um, placed external. Um, here's one of them right here just for example. You can bring them out, but I'm afraid to hit that they are going to run into these blades. So I am going to leave them inside for now. Um, I don't think it'll be a problem because I don't plan on flying too far away here. Um, it should uh, still provide uh, uh, sufficient reception, but if it does become a problem, you know, people can always use zip ties or such to bring them out and, and tie them to zip ties to keep them up and away from these propellers. That's why I believe you should put, just plops them inside there like that. Uh, the FPV uh, transmitter is a 48-channel FPV transmitter. Unfortunately, the way they plop it in here, you don't really have access or easy access to the um, channel changer to change those 48 channels it's right there and on top of that they keep the insulation wrap on it so you can't you have to go inside here and if you want to change channels you got to remove that insulation wrap you know that plastic insulation wrap I don't know why they installed it with it like that but that's the way it is um, and also the FPV antenna that you get is not a circular polarized, it's a little monopole, it's a little bendable one, but uh, it just might work out. I hear that it snaps off easy. I'm not gonna try to snap it off to show you that, but we'll, we'll leave it on here and see if it survives a crash if I go into a crash. Uh, the battery you get for it is a uh, 3S. Let me give you a 3S battery. I believe it's 1500 milliamp per hour. We'll confirm that right now. Yes, 1500 milliamp per hour battery. Uh, one thing about that, there's little bolts up here where this battery is placed. I put a little bit of uh, foam, shipping foam there, just to protect that battery to keep it from uh, getting dinged up by those protruding bolts. So that should, this actually should work relatively well. And on top of that, I put a little bit of Velcro on top here so I can put my uh, 808 keychain camera in so we can get aerial video of the flight. Let's go over the controller. The controller I have some issues with. Um, this one's not a rebranded FlySky i6. It actually is a FlySky i6, finally. <laughs> People stop putting their names on there and 
leave it what it is, an FSI 6. Uh, one thing though, none of these switches are uh, configured inside here. Only these two here are available, uh, switch C and uh, switch D. And on top of that, I went into Clean Flight to see what type of setup we had here. According to the manual, this is supposed to be Horizon Mode, uh, switch C. You know, switch C is the only one that's actually programmed, but switch C is supposed to, uh, position one supposed to be Angle Mode, I'm sorry. Center position Horizon Mode and bottom position um, Rate or um, Acro Mode. But in reality, the way it was set up in Clean Flight, be careful folks, is this one, position one and position two were both Acro Mode and only position three was uh, Angle Mode, you know, stabilized Angle Mode. So. Uh, I didn't leave it like that. Uh, that's just not acceptable. I went in and I did configure it uh, the way it is set up in the uh, instruction manual. So right now, uh, you know, I went into clean flight and I set this to position one to angle mode, position two to horizon, and position three to rate. Other things about the transmitter, uh, you can go into the menus of it and uh, directly adjust it just by pressing the OK button. In other words, it's not locked where you have to go in and pull both of these uh, trim buttons in to access the menu. It's uh, um, easily accessible. And finally, to start the quadcopter, you bring the throttle down into the road right from this mode two, and to start or stop the motors, throttle all the way down and to the left. Okay, that's it in a nutshell. Let's go for a flight of the i6 and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, it's kind of breezy out here today. We're getting uh, wind going from about uh, seven to 10 miles per hour here. Actually, here comes a nice little gust here, went up to about 9, yeah, about 7 to 10. Uh, temperature out here is about 79 degrees, not too bad. So, you know, it is, we do have a somewhat of a breeze coming from that direction. Let's go into starting this quadcopter up. Okay, I set up my uh, uh, recording over there, my uh, FPV screen, and let's start this quadcopter up. So, to start it up, we turn on the transmitter, and then we plug in. Actually, let's turn on this camera, too. <laughs> I want this camera recording. Camera is recording. And then we plug in the leads. And we should be good to go. Again, I'm going to start in angle mode. And I'm going to start my timer. I got my little timer here. I'm going to set it for about four minutes. Let's go for a flight of the wizard and see how it performs. Okay, going to idle. Or turning it off a second. Hold on. I want to make sure I am getting a TV reception. I am. Okay. So now let's go back to idle. And we're in idle. Setting it up. Ooh, it's twitchy. <laughs> Look at that. The rates are set real high on this in idle, or in acro, not acro, in, in angle. It's pretty good I didn't show you that. But the wind blow, this is the wind blowing it back, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, they are set real high. Okay, I want, to, want you to see it. Okay, try the punch. Okay, it's got a little punch here. Yeah, let's bring it down again. I'm gonna get the feel for this before I go flipping it around like that. Yeah, this is one of the most uh, agile settings I've seen on a uh, quadcopter in stock condition, the way it's set up. Get the feel for it. Okay, not super punchy, but it's okay. Mind, I got a 10 knot wind too. 10 knot per hour wind. Okay, not super punchy, but it's okay. It's actually okay. Okay. Get the feel for this thing. I want to keep it close so you can see it. Back down to the air. Come back down to Papa. 
Those lights are confusing on that. Let me figure that in. Something's not, not right with those lights. It looks like left is red and right is green. <laughs> Keep that in mind, folks. The lights on the bottom, let's bring that in to show you that. That's going to be Which is the front and which is the back? Actually, it's, the way it's set up is left is red and right is green. Okay, that's not to tell you front and back, just to tell you left and right. That's interesting. Okay, still getting the feel for this thing. It is, the way it's set up, it is pretty, uh, pretty agile. Okay, even in angle mode. Actually, this is kind of fun, actually, once you get the feel for it a bit. You know, it surprises you once the first time you fly this, and then you go, hey, this is, this is all right. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Bring it in. Once you get the feel for it, you go, oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Let's do that again. I hope you saw that. Wow, that's yaw. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, even in angle mode, you could probably race this because of the way it, how agile it is. Okay, let's go over the planes. It's fast. It's fast, I'll give you that. Actually, I kind of like this. Eshin finally got a winner. <laughs> they've had they've had a lot of uh, I don't know what to call them, <laughs> but this one is kind of fun. There's my beeper going off. I'm bringing it in close for the remainder of the flight. So let's take a look at this thing. Oh yeah, I like this one. The Eshin Wizard. They finally. Okay, now this isn't real easy to fly, folks. Even in angle mode, it's not because of the way, it, you know, the way they got it set up. Look at that. <laughs> you're, out of the box, you're gonna, you know, should be intermediate flyers, advanced intermediate flyers, actually, to be able to fly this. But yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's a fun flyer. Real fun flyer. Okay, I'm going to be bringing it in here shortly because my that's my four-minute timer. This is the first flight. I don't want to fly too hard with this, this battery on its first flight, but we'll bring it in now. No wizard. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, I like it. Ishii, good job. Okay, let me turn off the camera. Uh, let's see here. Camera off. Stop recording and unplugging the battery. So, what are my thoughts? Um, it's an excellent flyer. <laughs> Darn excellent flyer. And even in angle mode there, uh, it's very, very aggressive. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you, it comes with, I got four sets of props. I don't know if that's normal or not, but I got four sets of props. You know, one and two, three, four, in case they break. Um, if that's true for all, you know, that's great, you know, if they give you four sets of props. I like that. Um, very agile flyer. A uh, lot of fun to fly, you know, if you're an intermediate flyer. Uh, beginners entering into FPV, I don't know. This one might be a little too aggressive for you, uh, the way it's set up out of the box. Um, I know it, it isn't going to be a little too aggressive for you, so I wouldn't recommend this for beginners trying to enter into FPV. But for intermediate flyers and, uh, you know, that have flown, um, um, FPV racers before and are looking for another nice cheap one to add to their collection. Yeah, I like this one. This one's a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. I did. It's Quadcopter 101. Signing out.